Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to chop a trouser black pattern. Okay, this is what we need for drafting the trouser basic pattern or trouser block pattern. We only need these body measurements here, waist, I set a s uh, given here, 92 cm. This time we will use centimeter. Next is the hips, which is 100 cm. Body rise, 22 cm. Length of the trouser, 96 cm. And the trouser bottom width, which is 25 cm. So let's get started. Before dropping the pattern, we will fold the pattern paper in a lengthwise center fold, just like this. Fold it with all the edges is equally aligned. And fold it. And another thing, you can fold it uh, one point. Fold to establish establish as a fold for your line here for your construction line in this paper i already prepare my construction line here for the straight line and the perpendicular here it's 90 degrees and 90 degrees angle so let's get started it's like the pajama pattern just a uh, Allow uh, around two inches here for the space for the back part of this trouser pattern. So let's start. This will be our zero as our starting point. Next, zero to one is the measurement of the body rise or sometimes called the crotch. I have here the given is 22 centimeter. This is one. Next. Okay, 0 to 2 is the standard measurement for the waist to hips, which is 20 cm. But in this case, the crotch is 22 and you will place here the 20. It is quite complicated to make some curve. So I have my own adjustment in adjusting the crotch curve because this pattern, the, the measurement is from a male client so I'm gonna I'm gonna up some 5 centimeter from 22 1 2 3 4 5 and this will be 2 okay next 0 to 3 is the length of the trouser and the given here is 100 centimeter Then we will square both sides 0.3 like this. One. And to get 4 is simply measure 1 to 3, get the center. This time we will use calculator, but this is very easy. 78, the half of 78 is. So I grab a calculator. The measurement of 1 to 3 is 78 centimeter. So, we will divide it into 2, which is 29, I, 39, so that's. Then, just put a dot because we need to minus 5 cm. And the result is 34. Actually, the 39 is here and the 34 is here. And this is number four. So same with 
1, 2, and 3, we will, we will square this point across in both sides. Next, we need to divide our hip measurement into 12. This is the meaning of 112 hip measurement plus 1.5. So again, we will use calculator. The hips here is 100. So 100 divided by 12 plus 1.5 centimeter. This is equal to 9.8 centimeter. So we will not run it off. We will use the nearest tenths. So from 1, you measure 9.8 here, and this is your 0.5. Square it up to the hip line to the waistline. This is now the 0.6 and 0.7. By the way, this is the waistline. The hip line, the crotch or the body rise line, the knee line, and the bottom line. Okay. Next is six to eight from this hip line. We will divide the hip measurements from 100 into 4 so 100 divided by 4 is equals 25 or simply it is the 1 for hip measurement so it's here plus 0.5 centimeter so this is 8 next 5 to 9 is the 1 16th hip measurement plus 0.5 so 100 divided by 16 equals plus 0.5 equals 6.75 so you can locate the 0.75 it's just the center or the middle of 7 and 8 so 6.75 is here this is 9 next from 7 you measure 1 cm inward this will be our number 10 and now I will use red color pen to connect 6 and 10 with a straight line and also 6 to 9 with a French curve to identify the front crutch this one okay next 10 to 11 here is the one fourth of the waist measurement so the measurement for the waist is 92 so 92 divided by 4 equals plus standard 2.25 for the front dart this is equal to 25.25 Point twenty five is in is is in between two and three, so twenty five point twenty five is somewhere here. This is eleven. So we can now connect eleven to eight using hip curve, and I'm using red color marker to make it more visible. You can also extend uh, some construction line down to crotch line. Okay, so 
3 to 12 is the half measurement of the trouser bottom width width which is 25 centimeter so 25 divided by 2 equals equals minus 0.5 And the answer is 12. So from 3, you measure 12 centimeter. This is 12. Next, 4. 4 to 13 is the measurement of 3 to 12, which is a while ago, it's 12. Plus 1.3, it's equal to 13.3. So 13 point this is number 13. Now to get the opposite side, it should be same or exact measurement. So this is 13.3 and this is also 13.3. This assigned letter is number 15 because 14 is here. So the same here, this is 12, so this is also 12. This is 14. So we can now connect 13 to 12 with the straight line. And 14 to 15 with a straight line. And 13 to 9 using French curve. And also 15 to 8 using hip curve. Hip curve ako yung ganyan eh? French curve. Oh, he curved. Sorry, folks. So, the front part of the trouser is done, but uh, we need to place here our front dart, which is 10 cm. And the width of the dart is 1 cm and 1 cm. And... We will uh, connect or construct the dart using the slightly straight part of the hip curve, like this. Not a straight edge, it's hip curve. So, now let's proceed to the back part of the trouser. So our last number here is 15. So. 5 to 16 is the one fourth of the measurement of 1 to 5. So this is 8 point. This is 8.8. 8. So divided by 4. 8.8 8 divided by 4 equals to. 8 divided by 4 equals 2.2 2. so from 5 you measure 2.2 2, and this is 16 squared up and this is 17 and this is 18 so next 19 is just the center of 18 to 16 so this is 22 so half of 22 is 11 so this is 19 next 18 to 20 is 2 centimeter then squared up is another 2 cm and this is 21 next 21 to 22 is the one fourth of the waist 
waist measurement which is 92 divided by 4 plus 2 dart this is 4.25 the answer is 27.25 in a slanting manner depending on uh, which part of the waistline uh, does 27.25 reach. 27. space here. I need to stand here. This is 22, and we can connect straight line to 21. Next, 23 is from 9. This is our 9. It's just simply the half of the measurement of 5 to 9. This is 6.8, so half of 6.8 is 3.4. So 3.4 somewhere here. This is 23. Next, 23 is just uh, 0.5 from 23 down. This is 24. And squared. Even it's too little, we need to square this. Then point here, the point 25, so you can also construct a straight line. I, I should use color blue. And we will connect 19 to 21 with straight edge. Color is missing. Missing. Then we will connect this 24 here down around the point nine point five here to 19 using a French curve. For the back part of the crotch. Okay, that's 24. Oh, 25 is somewhere here. This is a technique, you know. Uh, 6 to 8 is the 1 fourth hip measurement plus 0.5. Now we will have the back part of the hips, which is also the same measurement, but there is additional of 1 centimeter. So if this is 25.5 from 17, this will become 26.5 and this is 0.25 and we can now connect 22 to 25 using a hip curve Now for the lower part of the trouser, it is the simplest simply yes, uh, part. From 12, you just measure 1 cm and this is 26. From 13, you measure 1 cm, this is 27. From 15, you measure 1 cm, this is 29. And from 14, you measure another 1 cm, this is 28. And simply connect these points with a straight edge or straight line. Mm -hmm. Now my tools are improvised due to pandemic. Then 24 to 27 with a French curve. Just look at this line here. If it is smoothly connected, and this will be the proper way. Then 25 and 29. 
this person is tall that is why I have a short shortage here this part here so I need to connect with straight one uh, now for the back for the back dart just simply divide 21 and 22 into three equal parts so this is 27 27 divided by 3 is 9 so 9 my camera girl here is very smart 9 so 18 and the width of the dart is 1 cm so 1 cm and both sides of the dart 1 cm 1 cm this first dart is 14 centimeter the second is 12.5 yes we will construct our dart here just reverse Please. And it's done! <laughs>